But you said you want all the smoke at 140. Tell the people, what does that mean? Fight fans, welcome back. Vontae yeah. Tank Davis hits different. Fresh off another devastating display, for this budding pound-for-pound -pound superstar, the road to the top is already littered with victims of all description across three weight classes. Now competing with a more mature mindset, opinions are swiftly changing. As far as talent level, you've never seen anything like it. Like he's such a monster. Maybe people should have taken the chance before he evolved into the beast they see today. Lightning quick power! Here we look at opponents before and after fighting Gervonta Tank Davis. He burned himself out, and you can see everything coming. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. I don't have to call nobody out right now. Just line them up. I knock them down one by one. On the left side of your screen, 21 years old. The kid has the temperament and the tools, they say, to be a Floyd Mayweather type fighter. Barely three years after turning pro, Gervonta Davis was already turning heads as a blue chip prospect. Oh, and Davis snaps his head back with a left. Tucked away on big fight undercards, the buzz began to form around this bright young wrecking ball. Racing to 14 wins, all but one casualty felled by destructive knockout. You know, at first I was doing it, I was doing it for the money, but now my mind on greatness, you know, I'm, I'm here to do it for the sport. Following a single round demolition of Mario Antonio Macias, Tank opened 2017 in the deep end against world champion Jose Pedraza. Jose! 22-0 with six more bouts on his slate, Pedraza stoked the pre-fight fires by referring to his challenger as a knockoff version of promoter Floyd Mayweather. Uh, he's just a, uh, a cheap imitation of Floyd Mayweather, and like all imitations never the same quality as the original ones. So any type of fights I'm ready at this period. Um, the question is, is he ready for anything that's coming at him? If he gets tired, he's gonna have trouble in the late round. I predict he's not going yeah. I'd like to say that he's sorry for Davis being signed uh, to me with a promotion because on January 14th, when he takes away his undefeated record, it's going to feel like he beat Mayweather. Davis showed he is his own man with an exceptional display. Classy Pedraza put up a great fight but was ultimately beaten up and stopped in decisive fashion. Under the bet, he's in trouble here. He's not enjoying this from Javonta Davis. And a huge right now. Ladies and gentlemen, is this the new one? Yeah, the strategy basically was to fight him from a distance and try to fight him inside and kind of lose some of the power, but it didn't work out that way. Didn't seem like you were able to employ that at all. As we said, Tank said, so I gave him the name, he said, I don't care what the name is. I don't care where we gotta go. Make it happen. Straight after his world title winning display, Gervonta and Floyd traveled to British soil just four months later to take on Liam Walsh in the Copper Box Arena. We'll get down and die. I'm serious. We'll see you last. We'll see you digs in. We'll see you go to the well. Another undefeated fighter, Liam and his brothers were vocal in the buildup claiming they would rumble with Davis in any location. I wouldn't be shocked if I win by knockout, I wouldn't be shocked if I win by points. Uh, you won't see me celebrating like a madman if I have to knock the tank out because I know I'm capable of it, so... I'm just on a whole different level. In the ring, Gervonta slayed his challenger in three rounds. Walsh said the stoppage was premature, but later endorsed the speed and power of the Baltimore Bank. He he puts him down. He stopped it. He's annoyed. He thinks it's a premature finish. And I didn't box the best I can box. I need to watch it back, but I believe I've got to be giving more of a chance. He was smart. He was very fast. I think you've got to um, give him the credit and said the better man won on the night. And he gives you guys excitement. And again, I'm very serious when I say he's the most exciting fighter in all of boxing. 
Everyone wants to see him fight. Que vamos a aprovechar al máximo, por supuesto. That we know that it's a huge opportunity and that we're gonna we're gonna approach it the, the biggest way that possible. Entering with an unbeaten record in punching power, ranging Nicaraguan Francisco Fonseca was preparing to shock the world. It's always been my dream to fight here in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm going to start off strong from the first round, and if a knockout comes, it comes. He doesn't want to go into too much detail beforehand, but that after the fight, that he'd be very happy to talk to you, but that he uh, doesn't like talking too much beforehand. After failing to make weight and losing his title on the scales, Davis needed a big performance. God bless, touch up. He's so strong with the hook up spot. Now it goes forward. The knockout came, but in controversial circumstances as Fonseca was hit behind the head and counted out in the eighth. Four, he called that a knockdown. Five, it was a knockdown. Six, six, see exactly eight, where he hit him. Ten, oh, and it's over. Yeah. Look at this. Yes. No, he never hurt me, uh, Jim, with that uh, exchange. And he doesn't hit as hard as they say he hits. Okay. Glad you're okay. Appreciate your time. Fonseca later went into battle with Brian Garcia crediting the ability and experience gained against Tank as his fuel. I don't want to underestimate Ryan Garcia. He's a great pro prospect, but he doesn't have the experience that Gervonta Davis has. Uh, so with all that, all that experience is going to be the basis for me to walk away with the victory on February 14th. It is constantly excuses, you know? So how do you think a fight between you and Gervonta Davis would play out? Um, tell him to sign the contract and we can see the end of the year. After dismissing Fonseca, Davis engaged in a war of words with division rival Tevin Farmer. I've been telling you! We want you! We're about! Don't make We're it, about. Tevin! About. Don't make it. The beef flowed back and forth, but despite Gervonta's desire to take back the IBF crown Farmer had since picked up, the showdown never came to fruition. Yeah, he went on Instagram and stuff. A bunch of Instagram and back and forth. Sort of he's soft. He's soft. I'm the former WBA featherweight champion of the world. In his only fight of 2018, Davis took on hard-hitting former featherweight king, Jesus Cuellar. And we can, and we've done everything necessary to uh, uh, face his speed, face his power, and uh, we'll show that on come Saturday. Phenomenal inside the ropes, doubts about Gervonta's concentration and discipline outside the ring were being raised. The guy could punch, he's experienced, and we see the Gervonta Davis that we saw in the McGregor Mayweather fight, he loses. Cuellar was posed to take full advantage of the chaos. Probably never fought a guy like Cuellar before, but we never take anything for granted. It's going to be a very competitive fight, I hope, and, and of course we want to win, but we uh, admit that it's a very difficult fight. The focus tank is a dangerous tank, so I'm ready. Al doing a great job of mixing up his attack. The end speed on display from Davis. And there's the liver shot with a jaw down in the deck for the fourth time in his career. It was the night many doubters became believers as Davis battered his foe to head and body, landing multiple power shots en route to a stunning third round destruction. What a combination! Left uppercut and down goes Quajar for the third time! Referee Becky Estevez pulls off the fight! And I'm sure that uh, I'll be back. I'll be back soon and I'll be back uh, as a champion. Where were you think I've been? I'm gonna be a champion of the world again. After what had happened on the Mayweather card to where you are now, what changed? It was time for me to move out of Baltimore and open up a new camp. And I got focused, and now I'm champion again. That's what I do. I come and fight. I come and prove people wrong. I come and perform. Not too many people do that nowadays, especially here in boxing. When they say, this is the biggest fight of your career, no, it's not. It's just another fight. It's a different style. I've seen them all. In early 2019, Tank was ready to battle the energetic buzzsaw Abner Mares, seeking redemption after two losses to the excellent Leo Santa Cruz. Mares vowed to fight fire with fire and KO Davis. Uh, I won my talk trash. I believe, I believe you're going down. Going down. I'm mentally, physically, I'm just ready for this fight. I want this fight. Between the two of them, they feel very, very confident that they can get it done. But did Abner bite off more than he can chew? Though a career-threatening eye injury forced Mares out, and Ugo Ruiz jumped in at short notice. Specialist, and he said, Abner, you have a detached retina. You're not going to be able to fight. And you know, I 
that's pretty much it. There's a big challenge for me. My 12 years in boxing is the great opportunity I've been waiting for. All I can say is that at 1.30, I feel more power than ever, and I will demonstrate it on Saturday night. I'm pushing to get him out of there in the early round so I can uh, collect another check before, <laughs> before July. Gervonta Davis has packed Dignity House Sports Park here in Southern California. Despite his physical advantages and imposing aggressive style, the Sinaloa slugger was blasted in a round. <laughs> broken nose so that thing started leaking full of praise Ruiz later claimed that in 16 years and 44 fights as pro he had simply never felt power like it what was the difference between you and tank tonight was it power weight just skill tank Davis was too strong I felt his punch it was too heavy um, the weight was too much okay Look, they can never keep me down, I'm going, and if I ever fail to snow, I'll go again, I never quit. Returning to his Baltimore base, Gervonta Davis was determined to put on a show for his hometown faithful and promised to bring the pain. 79 years ago, last time, a Baltimore native has defended his world title right here in his hometown. And Saturday, it's the return of the tank. Ricardo Nunez arrived with venom, confidently stating that he was ready to knock Tank out in front of his fans. It's parecido al mío. I have a high knockout ratio, so that's why I'm confident in, in knocking Tank Davis out. So oh yeah, I'm expecting a power war. I'm ready to stand in there with him. Is that smart strategy? If he's ready for a shootout and he's confident in his power, he may be just as excited to get into a shootout in front of Javante's fans and uh, let the crowd roar. Bob, I am the first one. We have a great, great power in the hand, so that fight will be finished for KO. Nunez been confident all week. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it translates. Talk is cheap, and the Panamanian exited the stage after a second round Davis demolition. Davis is to The arena was rocking as ruthless Gervonta roared on to face the biggest threats of his career. The main thing is he listened and he went out there and got the job done and he couldn't have done it in a better place. Baltimore, we love you. We're not taking them lightly, but um, December 28th, what, what can I say? I never won in my book. Eager to end 2019 on a high, Davis had the chance to add another recognizable name to his ledger. A former unified king, Cuba's Yuri Orcas Gamboa was a fast and slippery customer. The confidence is, is very simple. It's the, the focus I have for this fight, not only the focus, but the hard work I put into this camp. And I know what I'm going to what I have to do on December 28th. That's it. That's where my confidence comes from. I'm coming to win. I'm sure he's coming to win. But in my heart, my soul, he goes, I see my, myself winning that night. Boxing for the first time up at lightweight, Davis toyed with an opponent who suffered an injury and retreated into survival mode. And Gamboa. Double jab and then the left hand dropping. Gamboa stayed here trying to hold on, having issues it seems with his leg. Dropped twice already. Gamboa was a long way behind on the cards when the referee called time in the 12th round. I wanted to keep going. I mean, I did tell my corner this is the problem, but I wanted to keep going. I'm a warrior. Uh, as we look forward, Leo Santa Cruz, Lomachenko, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm the top dog. As you know, there's no safety on this Glock, so bring them on. I'm just well prepared. I know I'm going to face a hard fighter, you know, the best in the division. Uh, I just hope that both of us come out healthy from the fight. Uh, no, no, no bad injuries or nothing, and may the, may the best man win. Making his pay-per-view debut against a four-weight title holder, the pressure was on Davis to put on a show. The fans, they want you to go and make it a war. They want to see a back and forth war. Man, but I know that with Tank, I can't do that. I got to fight smart. Uh, for every fight, you have to go 100%, 100% mentally, physically, everything. Respectful as always in the buildup, 
Leo Santa Cruz's championship experience and size advantages spelled danger. Well, Santa Cruz is, is uh, a very disciplined fighter. We haven't really seen that from Tank, but you never know. Tank is, is, is a big puncher. You might go in there and, you know, land, land one big punch and it might be over. Well, this fight is starting out the way Davis wants it to. Gervonta stood inside and took some shots. But his sixth round finishing left uppercut was a silencer. Left uppercut, right hook by Davis. Santa Cruz standing there taking it. If Davis thought Santa Cruz was going to fall from his... Santa Cruz walked on to a hellacious bomb that left him prone in the corner. Tank had scored the 2020 knockout of the year. He got me with a good shot, he got me on the right spot, and you know, I went down, but you know, I think if I would have gone 12 rounds, I think I could have beat him. But, you know. Leonard Adlerby said, you know, they have big plans for him, and um, I fully intend, you know, on, on fucking up those plans, you know, come Saturday. I'm just as dangerous as he is, you know, I'm just as explosive, just as fast, and um, I'll, I'll be able to show they come fight night. Moving up in weight to become a three-division world champion was a risky move, labeled by some as foolish grandeur, especially against a big 140-pounder like Mario Barrios, who could punch hard and had yet to taste defeat. Mario and one of his coaches says, we are gonna bust him to the white. Tank, same for you. You know I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, I already know. Expectations are indeed high with Gervonta Tank Davis daring to be great. Davis displayed next-level talent, matching the Texan blow for blow, closing the space and proving that his vaunted power transcends weight classes. Floored three times, Brave Barrios was clubbed to defeat in round 11 by a man who represents boxing's latest and greatest. It was nothing short of an exciting fight, and that's exactly what both of us predicted. But I mean, he, he was, he's walking away tonight, the better man, but uh, I'll definitely be back. Oh no, Junior Flores has forgotten his girlfriend's birthday. Hopefully he has remembered to subscribe and ring the bell so he never forgets another Motivedia presentation.